All right, my name is Vitamin D Stan, and welcome back to some Cafe Stella. Oh my god, this is so bright. Help. Yeah, welcome back. Back to some Cafe Stella. I don't know, lately I felt like I've just been wanting to play Cafe Stella more as of late. Maybe next episode, King Core. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to see how I feel. After my exams were over, it was time to return to my normal life. But before that, I have to go to the pool with Yuchi Dani-san. Today's the day we agreed upon. She took the day off from work, and my shift is scheduled to end after lunch as well. Sorry for taking half the day off on a Saturday. Hmm. I could say the same thing about you. Fine, but it's not a date. What makes a date anyways? Like, do you guys have to, does it necessarily have to be agreed on that it's a date? I don't understand. We're just going to do some exercises that relieve some stress. And, and you're just doing a whole lot of yapping. That doesn't bother her, apparently. She used to be part of the swim club, so she's used to it. What are you smirking about? I really wish you'd stop teasing me, Suzuna san. Anyway, I'd better get going. It's not a date. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Everyone thinks it's a date. Oh, great, everyone's teasing me. I walk out the door after saying goodbye to my smirking co-workers. <laughs> Still some time before we're the meet. But if I walk slow, I'll make it there right on time. Feeling slightly nervous to be out and about during my usual working hours, I make my way towards our arranged meeting place. Which is where we're at. Ah, of course. <laughs> Yuchida in some ways her hand in the air upon catching sight of me. Waving back, I jog up towards her. Chug. Sorry about the wait. Uh, which way was it again? Slinging her sports bag over her shoulder, she starts walking. Our first stop is a nearby sporting bit stone. When I mentioned that I don't, didn't own a pair of swimming trunks, she suggested that we go shopping for a pair together. Although it feels a bit embarrassing, I figured I might as well let her choose a pair for me. Mm. Yep, I did. You sure? Oh, cool. Thanks. Speaking of swimming caps, though, it's got to be years since I last wore one. We do, but we don't have to wear gym uniforms. I don't think swimming was ever part of the curriculum, though. Also, it was only a mandatory course in freshman year. Yep, you can't graduate without passing that class. I wasn't that bad, to be honest. Probably isn't much different from the physical education you do at your school. Oops, sorry. Following after her, we entered the sporting goods store. Unsurprisingly, Huchidan-san knew exactly where the swimwear section was and made a beeline for it. Oh, 
みのデザインとかあります All of these look pretty、uh, form fitting. まあそうですね。フィットしてないと泳ぎにくいですし。I'm not exactly a great swimmer though. I feel like I'd stick out like a sore thumb in something like this. 僕先輩もしかして泳ぎあ、違う。そっちか。すみません。I didn't even understand at first. What? いや、勘違いして。She blushes and looks away pointedly, fanning herself with her hand. Huh? Oh, no, I wasn't talking about my you know what sticking out. <laughs> First dates are everything they said. Your thoughts sure go to some weird places sometimes, Yuchi Dani. You literally didn't have to say anything. Wait, there's a difference? I didn't know that. Wait, what? I'm barely finding out? That's crazy. Hmm, I guess that's true. Yeah, both of us with our pee pees out. Well, I'm not much of an exhibitionist. Ow! She hit me on the shoulder. We've never had this sort of banter before. Makes me kind of happy knowing we're growing closer to each other. Man, what am I, some kind of masochist? Yep. Not I, but him. Well, since I'm just a novice swimmer, I guess there's no reason to be picky. I'm fine with something cheap. But if it's too cheap, the quality might not be that good. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna be going that often. Hmm. They all look pretty much the same, don't they? I'd prefer something plain. Oh, the blue one looks nice. I'll go with that one. I'm not really sure what my size is to be honest, but this should be fine. Oh no, why do I feel like it's not gonna be fine? Now I just need a swim cap, right? Why? Sounds pretty strict. Is it? Huh. I guess it's really. I guess it really has been a while since the last time I went. Yeah. That's cheaper than I thought. I'll go with the 1000 yen one. This black one will do nicely. I'll go pay for these. Splitting up momentarily, I make my way to the cash register. Once I finish paying, I leave the store. Alright, I'm all set. It's by the station, right? Wow, you're very excited. Leaving the ball behind, we head towards the station. The pool we're going to is apparently one that Yuchidani san frequents, but when I tried to look it up online, I couldn't find any such facility. Thought I was just doing a bad job of searching, but after our conversation earlier, I finally realized something. I probably misunderstood her. I have a feeling the pool we're going to isn't what I think of when I hear the word pool. What could it possibly be then? The place where we've arrived at is a fitness gym in front of the station. You heard that right. A gym. Ugh, I know it. This is what she was talking about. No wonder we seem to be on slightly different pages. I'll be honest. I thought we were going to the recreational pool. 
You know, with jacuzzis and water slides and stuff. Bro, who goes to a gym pool? Hey, let's go to the... <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard that in my life. If that's you, I'm sorry, but I've never heard that in my life. It's either come to my pool, I'll go to your pool, or let's go to a public park. Water park. A bit dramatic, huh? No, it's fine, really. If anything, it's my fault for leaping the conclusions. No, seriously, it's fine. More than fine. Let's go inside. That's fine. I'm interested to see what the gym you always go to is like. Plus, I also want to see how you swim. Come on, let's go. You have nothing to apologize for. Honestly, this is my first time going to a real gym, so I'm pretty excited. Still nervous about it being my first time at a fitness gym, I step inside. At the reception desk, I decide against a gym membership and pay the visitor's fee instead since I'm not planning on coming regularly. Then Hichidani saw and I split off towards our respective locker rooms and get changed. There's something kind of embarrassing about wearing brand new swimwear. Dang, this thing is tight. Turns out my PP pee, pee really does stick out in this. Oh no. This is gonna be great, I know it. I didn't think this would actually be a problem. Well, I tried my best. Oh, well, I'm sure everyone else's junk bulges out too. Shrugging it off. <laughs> it's always the full. I can confirm it, it's, it does not, and it should not. Oh, uh, no. Oh, this is a new sight we have never seen in this game before. Nice pool. Here, Chidani son, having finished changing ahead of time, is sitting on a bench by the poolside. She's probably used to it being a former swim tween. Tween? What? Oh, God, I can't read. What am I on today? I swear I've been sleeping. She's probably used to it being a forward twink. I'm dead. Swim team member. Or maybe I'm just slow. Oh, interesting. Stop looking at my pee pee. Do they look weird? Good. Looks like my pee pee isn't too conspicuous. <laughs> probably shouldn't say that loud then. Though, but that aside. We're hitting her with one of those, like right in front of her. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I can't help but be mesmerized by the sight of Yuchidani san in her swimsuit. It's a one piece she wore during the time on the swim team. Having been made specifically for the purpose of competition, its design is incredibly streamlined, but that's what makes it so sexy. Hey, yo, you're not gonna stop checking her out in front of her face, huh? Oh my bad. Literally. I'm just not used to seeing you wear something like that. Seriously though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't I would too. I would too. I'm sweating bullets, but Yuchirani san smiles not seeming too bothered. Phew, I was totally burying on her just now. Thank god she just left it off. Yuchirani san stands up and looks around the pool. It's not as crowded as I expected. We should be able to swim rather freely today. It's because of the depth of it? So the center lane is for serious swimmers only? Oh, I've heard of this. Hmm. Interesting. 
Well, since I'm pretty out of shape, maybe I should start with that. Alright, thanks for explaining the rules to me. Time to get in the water. Why? It's alright, we'll still have a good time. <laughs> Putting on her cap and goggles, Yuchidani san strides off towards the center line. As for me, well, guess I'll try the beginner lane for starters. Let's do this. I could already kind of predict what's going to happen. Something's going to happen with his pee, pee or somebody's going to drown and someone's going to get saved. And then, yeah, we're going to get romantic after that. That's my prediction. Let's do this, he said. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Probably hasn't even been 30 minutes. Still, I was exhausted. Doing laps in the beginner lane had been more strenuous than I thought. Even the walking exercises were tougher than I expected it. I barely managed to pull myself out of the water and onto a bench. I knew I wasn't fit, but this is bad. I can't believe I felt this, feel this tired already. Whew! Taking a swig of a sports drink, I look absent-mindedly over at the center line. Good God! Yeah! All right, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I would say this is the thumbnail, but in no way that that's happening. Uh-uh. Mai is immediately fall upon Yuchidai's son even amongst all the other swimmers. She appeared to be waiting for her turn in the water. She stands near the edge of the pool wearing a serious expression on her face. And it's also a little difficult not to look at them cheeks when the letters are literally on her cheeks. And then it zooms in. <laughs> Mai dropped down her butt. The swimsuit is kind of digging into it. Though I'd feel off about myself for doing this. I'm a guy so I can't really control my eyes. Oh, you can. Her butt is somewhat small but very toned, as you'd expect from someone as fit as her. Her entire body is very slender and healthy, free of any excess fat. Quite frankly, it's sexy. Man, what am I doing gawking at her like this? I've never looked at her that way before, but I have to admit, something strangely alluring about her in that swimsuit. More specifically, the way it digs into her. <laughs> Faintly exposing her untanned skin. I feel my pulse begin to rise. Oh, this is perfect for the kind of swim trunks that you have, too. I'm a total perv, aren't I? I should probably stop staring now. <laughs> I just can't. I'm sorry, Huchi san Men are powerless before the might of girls in swimsuits. Oh. Huchi san sticks her fingers into her swimsuit in order to fix it. Wow, this is really hot. I unintentionally let out a small gasp of admiration. <laughs> Man, I'm creepy. It's good that he's aware of it. To me, this is all so sexy that I can't stop staring. To people on swim teams, it probably happens all the time, which is why she didn't seem particularly embarrassed about it. In fact, I bet I could ask her to fix it again right in front of me, and <laughs> she'd probably say sure thing. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Good thing we decided to swim separately, but I'm also glad we came here together. I'm really glad no one's watching me right now. I'd be branded a purr for sure. Uh, and she saw. Our eyes suddenly meet, causing me to jump. Unaware of the filthy thoughts going through my head, she gives me a smile before diving into the pool. While I panic for a moment, I throw a caution to the wind and decide to continue watching Hiyochidani san as she swims. Since I don't know much about swimming, I can't tell you exactly why, but her swimming form is just so beautiful. Her frame is small compared to the other swimmers, but her form is powerful yet exudes grace at the same time. She's also fast. Doesn't even look like she's going at full speed. Nevertheless, she's faster than everyone around her. Even to my untrained eye, I can tell she used to be a phenomenal swimmer. That's what makes it all the more sad in return. If it weren't for her left eye, she'd still be a part of the swim team and further down the line. Maybe we become an Olympic level athlete. Or at least I like to imagine. <laughs> <clears throat> Climbing out of the pool, Hiyochidan san takes off her cap and goggles and comes walking over. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like she's here to scold me for oogling her. Swimming is a lot more physical, physically demanding than I thought. Don't worry about me though. Go ahead and keep swimming. She sits down beside me, bringing a sports drink bottle to her mouth. I find it interesting that this voice actress got stuck with two female athletes. Is that a coincidence? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Well, then, you know, I was watching you swim earlier. You're crazy fast. 
No, it looked like you weren't even trying. I bet you could go even faster if you wanted. Seriously. I really do think you're a fast swimmer, though. Just sounds like you're being modest. Hearing her name here, Chidan-san turns toward the person who spoke. Oh look, a different character. That's not any of the main ones. Interesting. Suddenly her eyes widen and she freezes. The girl looks to be around the same age as her. From the sound of it, they're friends. But the look on her face when she saw her. It wasn't an expression I'd seen her make very often. Something about it caught my attention. Wait, is that a butterfly? What is this conversation? Why is it so weird? Oh look, a butterfly, and there's actually a butterfly. Well, this is awkward. Something must have happened between these two. However, it doesn't feel like it's my place to step in, so I keep silent. Good call, Kose. Well, this is weird. As soon as her friend disappears, Yuchirani san heaves a long, heavy sigh. It's probably best not to make any careless comments, but at the same time, I can't pretend I hadn't seen anything either. Did you guys get in the fight or something? She smiles uncomfortably. It doesn't seem like she wants to talk about it, so I shouldn't pry. Alright, well, I think I've taken a long enough break. Time to get back in the water. Actually, I'm just going to do some more walking exercises. I don't want to wear myself out too quickly again. Firing herself up, Yuchidani san rises to her feet. She puts on her cap and heads off towards the center lane once more. I don't want to force a story out of her, so I hastily change the subject. But that butterfly was most likely following Yuchidani san's friend. And if butterflies were involved, I can't turn a blind eye. Maybe I'll try asking her about it later, over dinner. But for now, I decide to worry about it after and put on my cap. Let's work up another sweat. Sure did. Must have burned a ton of calories. After exercising and showering, I feel rather refreshed. I actually enjoyed myself a lot, surprisingly. Thanks for bringing me along. What? What are you on? Oh, hardly. I'd come again for sure. I'll come anytime. Sounds good to me. What do you want to do now? If you've got time, we could grab a bite to eat or something. Ah, uh, if you're busy, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, what? Like your house? On the first day? Oh, done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say hi to my mother in law. Well, that's nice of her, but she doesn't need to thank me, really. After all the Osechi and groceries you gave me, I'd say we're more than even. Ah, so that's what this is about. No, I'm not too tired. I can help you. Man, I feel a little nervous about meeting your parents. Yes. It's okay, I confirmed it. I think you're a very intelligent girl. It's true. In fact, you're so smart, I probably don't even need to help you study for your exams. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. We leave the station and head towards Yuchidani-san's house. Since I'm helping her study, that probably means we'll be going up to her room. P pardon me. <laughs> Feeling slightly nervous, I step inside. Yuchidani-san's mom immediately comes out to greet me. However, it seemed that Yuchidani-san forgot to mention that the person who'd been helping her study was a guy. Her mom looked somewhat surprised to see me. Oop. Nonetheless, she quickly ushers me into the living room for a cup of tea. However, I have a feeling she has some unfounded suspicions regarding my relationship with Yuichi Dani-san. Sure enough, she wanted to know whether or not, whether or not I was dating her daughter. At first, her questions about her relationship were rather innocent, but they gradually became more and more direct until I could only smile awkwardly in response. Yuichi Dani-san must have been feeling just as uncomfortable as I was. Finally, she cut her mom off and invited me up to her room. I forget she loves stuffed animals. <laughs> she heaves a sigh as she closes the door. It's okay. Your mom uh, sure doesn't mince words now. ですよね。どこまで進んでるのとか。もう。<laughs> And she then some flops onto her bed, burying her face under her pillow and kicking her legs. While she greatly resembles her in terms of cheeriness, her mom is, in a current sense, the complete opposite of her daughter, who immediately goes red in the face at the mention of these sorts of topics. Maybe. 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 Don't worry about it. Honestly, I like how frank your mom is. Makes it easy to talk to her. いや、フランクにも程があるっていうか。まさかあんな質問するなんて。Living room or your room? Either is fine with me. もういいです。room in question is full of stuffed animals. It suits her personality to the tea. And what's more, it smells really nice in here. Nice and girly. Agreed. Seriously? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Seriously. She suddenly stands up, glaring sharply towards the door. Hmm? Oh, okay. Scowling, she walks out the room. A few seconds after the door closes, I hear the muffled sound of her voice again. <laughs> 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 
だからしないから何にかがわしいことってするかお菓子とかいいから飲み物も私持ってくからもう来ないでよいい来ないでねだから勉強するだけだってもう先勉強教えてもらうのすみません She eventually returns bearing a tray loaded with drinks and snacks. Closing the door with her foot, she places the tray on the table and sits down. Well, that's just how moms are, especially when you invite a guy into your room. Just like you, huh? Both of you tend to go a little crazy when it comes to things you like. When Mikado told her you could pet him as much as you wanted. Like mother, like daughter. y u s h i d a i s o n falls backwards onto the floor but then quickly gets up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Putting on a serious expression, she stands up and walks over to the bookshelf. After pulling out several textbooks, she sets them down on the table before going to the mirror to comb up her bangs. Just wait a minute. I'm in watch mode. Hmm? Huh? Oh, I forgot you wore contacts. That's right. I did too. Putting on her glasses, she sits down again. I thought so. Okay, this. Looking like a librarian. You look totally different with those on. Yeah, only if you're not smart to begin with, though. <laughs> well, how about you show me how smart you really are? You're not gonna study. Oh, come on, you're the one who asked me to help you study. <laughs> What if she brings up the swimsuit thing back at the pool? Your friend at the pool? She smiles somewhat awkwardly. I'd say you don't have to if you don't want to, but it involves butterflies, doesn't it? I guess you didn't notice it. Yeah, there was. Judging from her reaction, it doesn't seem to come off as a surprise to her. Have you seen them around her before? Oh, she's not anymore. And that's what caused her to begin attracting butterflies. Y'all know how I couldn't use the other one as a thumbnail? Although I probably could, but I could get in trouble. And also, I'm not, I'm not doing that for my personal reasons. <laughs> This is a thumbnail. That works. Well, that sucks. Are you the fastest now? Use the power of your eye. She hesitates momentarily before nodding. もやもやを消すのはいいことっぽいぞってわかるようになってきたんですけどでもお母さんとお父さんに話して
気がついたんですよねあこれ普通じゃないんだってお母さん最初は笑ってたんですけど私がしつこく言ってたらすごく心配されちゃってそれから左目の力は使わないようにしてました、so、that's when you started growing out your veins. はい最初は眼帯つけようかと思ったんですよでも完全に痛い子なのでやめました She laughs shyly, but her expression quickly grows somber once more. それでまあ左目のことは隠してたしモヤモヤ見つけても無視するようにはしていたんですけど But you weren't able to ignore your friend's problems. She began attracting butterflies again. いい方向に行くことが多いって言ってましたけどまたすぐ調子崩しちゃってもやもやし始めちゃって、oh, oh. その後も何回か消してあげたんですけどダメで Well if what Mikado says is true maybe your powers are only able to heal the soul the heart But if the cause of your friend's problems are physical rather than emotional That would explain why your powers don't have much effect. So, come on, this day. It is no guinish can not an act. Demo, it is no guinemo, Chosi Okunar no, much guy, nigh wakas and I disca. Anoko, but as no omajani, Tayorio not chate. Oh, Yoku nai not the omotanes. Omajani ganai to eat, I mota sena eat the omoikon jatara. Maybe you shouldn't have told her about it. それで左目の力を使うのをやめたんです。はい。おまじないくらいしてくれてもいいじゃんって。ちゃんと説明したんです。おまじないがないとダメって思い込んだら、余計に調子を崩しちゃうかもしれないからって。けど、部活仲間も。してあげなよって。わあ。メイの言うことです。Everybody <笑> みんな壁にぶち当たったら努力で乗り越えるじゃないですかでも私のしていることってドーピングみたいなものでドーピングなおさらそんなものに頼らせちゃいけないって思ったんです自分でやっておいてなんですけどやめるのが正解だなってあの子のそばから離れるのは So that's why things seem so awkward between you two. Yes. Hi. My Hanasta, you mo, Uso de one night is kiddo. Honto de mon night is Honto a Nigget on this Tomodachkara. Atashiwa, so you hikiona yats this. Hm. Ah, it do. Kuni smima se. I don't think you're a coward. Here comes the glazing. You're the sort of person who wants to help other people and wants to see them happy. It's clear that you only had your friend's best interest at heart. It's because you care for her that you decided she'd be better off without you. You didn't run away and you weren't being a coward. You made an incredible sacrifice for the sake of your friend, and I think that's amazing. She looks down, shifting aside her glasses to rub at her eyes. Then, slightly tearful, she looks back up. She looks back up at me shyly. Thank you. I've 
もらえて嬉しいです先輩は私の目のことに気がついてくれてそうやって励ましてくれてあのえっと大げさで引くかもですが先輩は私の恩人です I owe you a lot too. Thanks to you, my work feels much more fulfilling. You supported me in my time of need, so this time it's my turn to support you. If there's ever anything you want to get off your chest, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to listen if you want me to. I wish there was something I could do about your friend too. That's valid. You think the right thing to do is to just watch over her? So, Shinji Temas. Talk Kara Mimamurunga, Ichiban in that. Anokona, Zetai, Tibun no Chikara de Kokufu de Kirito Mokara. Then I'll believe that too. <laughs> and then her mom, like on the other side of the door. Y'all fucking yet? Oh, stop. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> we forgive you. Study time. Study, study. That's fine. I know this is important to you. And like I said, I'm here to help anytime you need me. Don't forget that. Way to start studying, eh? Yoroshiko Negai Shimas. Mother, more. Your Chidan san looks angrily towards the door. This time I notice it as well. Mrs. Hiyuchidani san is definitely standing outside. Nando must be my son. Looking fed up, she rises to her feet and leaves the room. As soon as the door closes behind her. That's awful. I feel bad for her. Can't help but smile as I listen to Yuchidani son bicker with her mom. From the way they speak, I'm sure her mom's cheerful attitude played a large role in keeping her spirits up while she worried about her friend. Speaking of Yuchidani son's friend, Perhaps I ought to tell Kizuki san and Mikuro about her. If I do that though, I get the feeling they're going to want to do more than simply watch. If they try to intervene by force, they could end up making the relationship between Hiyuchidani san and her friend even worse. In any case, I'll have to proceed with caution. Above all, my top priority is respecting Hiyuchidani san's feelings on the matter. Alright, let's get studying. Yes, sir. Which subject should we start with? Ah, I remember now. You said you had a really tough math teacher, didn't you? Well, let's study hard so you can get a good grade again. That's the attitude. Nice. Well, you know what? This might actually be a good spot to wrap it up. I do want to keep going a little more, but we don't know how long this scene is. And we just got the little break thing. So I think we may as well wrap it up. I mean, the timer here says we have five minutes though, but five minutes is five minutes. I'll probably spend half of that yapping about that episode. Or maybe not. I, I don't think I have much to say about this episode, but still, I think it's a good spot to call it it's just one of those episodes today where it was just chill you know nothing nothing too too crazy although it did have its 
silly moments, you know, nothing crazy stuff. But anyways, with that being said, though, this was a good chill, tame, whatever episode. Although that whole scene with her and her cheeks out, that was totally uncalled for. That's all I got to say. But aside from that, great episode. Real great episode. Instead, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I wish I had more to say, but I really don't. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cafe Stellan. If you did, please let me know by hitting that like. And if you have not subscribed, please fix that as well now that you're at it. Anyways, I'll let y'all go. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Y'all stay safe. And until next time.